This is going to be a very interesting video where I experimented with my RTR 200 4V. The idea for this video arised from my observations on engine oils drained from vehicles which spend most of their time inside the city in slow speed traffic and short rides. These engine oils usually come out darker which led to my curiosity on what happens to the rest of the engine. Let me tell you that most of the engine manufacturers and lubricant companies struggle in this area where traffic and slow speed stop and go riding can put additional stress on the engine. Where we all have experienced the drop in fuel efficiency during the slow speed city rides where the additional fuel burnt can lead to carbon deposition inside the engine on parts like valves, pistons, spark plugs and other vital parts that form the direct or indirect part of the combustion system. Even if you go by the old school mechanical handbook, you cannot really go wrong by judging the combustion environment by the color of the spark plug head. Most of us might have already heard this, but this time I was practically going to test it. I decided to keep the test simple by dividing it into two parts where each part will begin with a clean spark plug. To begin with the first part, here the RTI 200 will be used only inside the city for the next 400 to 500 kilometers. So for more than a week, the RTR suffered all kinds of traffic where it stopped, idled and crawled all around the city. Almost 80% of the riding was done inside the city where I seldom got a chance to engage the 5th gear and take the RPM above 5000. My 3 ton would have thrown some tantrums in this type of riding conditions but the RTR 200 never complained with no sign of overheating or drop in power or any change in engine note. Even the idling RPM remained steady. Needless to say, the RTR is fun inside the city with enough power and agility. After all of this, I got around an average of 30 km per litre inside the city, which I feel is good for a 200cc machine. I must disclose that during this complete test, I was running on regular fuel with no fuel additive, and the motorcycle is running on synthetic engine oil, and the spark is coming from the NGK Iridium spark plug. You can check its complete video from the link in the description. This brings me to the condition of the spark plug after all the city riding and as it can be seen the ground and the center tip have turned completely black from what we had started with. Honestly this isn't something that will kill your engine immediately otherwise I would have never done it but in the long term carbon is your engine's enemy. Even if it is just sitting on the piston head or the valve stem an additional weight on moving parts will lead to drop in performance and efficiency. This isn't about rich or lean mixture or staying away from the stoichiometry. Handling this type of riding conditions isn't easy for even fuel injected systems as they either try to run lean or the throttle response becomes snatchy at low RPMs. And things again change when the temperature starts to rise in slow speed riding. Now moving towards the part 2 there is a change in scenario where we start again with a clean spark plug and this time we are on open highways. Needless to say, this kind of riding conditions are a lot relaxing for both the motorcycle and the rider. The engine gets to work through its rev range and the airflow keeps the temperature under control. The efficiency also rises as you cover more kilometer per liter. This also helps in bringing down the carbon deposition and keeps the engine healthy. On a completely different note, I have seen motorcycles riding inside the city under stop and go traffic conditions to have a lower brake pad life when compared to machines riding on highways like this. Coming back to the engine, I have noted this on the G310 which has got a temperature readout that there is always a temperature difference of around 10 to 15 degrees Celsius in between the city and highway ride temperature, which is always a plus point for the highway machine as it runs at a lower temperature. Once you slot the transmission in top gear, the gearbox is almost free from its shifting duties on highway which again strengthens the life of the transmission. Please note I am not considering redlining the engine here as I have seen people doing the same irrespective of the riding conditions which is not considered as a healthy practice. Now before we take a look at the spark plug, let's discuss the efficiency numbers first where I got an average of around 36 km per litre on the highway ride where I was riding in the 80 to 100 km per hour zone which is effortlessly done by the RTR 204V. Coming to the spark plug, you can see a cleaner tip and ground electrode a dark brown shade can be observed which is a sign of complete and clean combustion. This leaves minimum unburned and carbon deposits on the electrode. Overall, this is a sign of healthy combustion. Do note that this was the case where we discussed the conditions just on the basis of riding situations and not on the engine and mechanical health. Where a clogged air filter can make your engine run lean or a busted valve seal or piston ring can foul up your spark plug. This was something which I always wanted to practically try and demonstrate. Let me know if you like this type of videos. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.